For member statements today, we will hear uh, from the honourable members for the districts of Lewisport, Twillingate, Fogo Island, Cape Friels, Conception Bay East, Belle Island, Harbour, Maine, and St. John's East, Kitty Vitty. The honourable the member for Lewisport, Twillingate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in the honourable house to recognize the Kinsman Club of Bridgeport and area. On Saturday evening, I had the privilege to join members and guests for the 36th annual installation of officers and year-end banquet. I would like to extend congratulations to Ken Randy White for winning the Distinguished Kinsman of the Year Award. Mr. Speaker, the Kinsman model is serving the community's greatest need, and this chapter has truly lived up to that model. During the 36-year history of the Kinsman Club of Bridgeport and area, the dedicated service of current and past members have contributed to over $750,000 being donated back to the community and region. In addition to don donating to local residents, schools, sports, and youth groups, the club also donates to the Janeway, Notre Dame Bay Memorial Hospital Auxiliary, Children's Wish Foundation, Ronald McDonald House, Kids Eat Smart Foundation, Dr. H. Bliss Cancer Center, CF, MS, just to name a few. I ask all members to join me in celebrating the contributions and success of the Kinsman Club of Bridgeport and area. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. The Honorable Member for the District of Fogo Island, Cape Friels. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This past weekend, I had the opportunity to visit the local service district of Stonewell and enjoy the company of the great volunteers there. This past Saturday, they celebrated Stonewell Days, their annual community festival. The day was enjoyed by everyone who took part. The day started with a parade of the brand new fire truck through town. This might not sound like a big parade, but this was the first new fire truck for the community. The sense of pride from the chief and the volunteers was overwhelming. The firemen were so excited that they took their own ride in the truck before taking the kids. <laughs> as a former chief, I was happy as they were. Over the past year and a half, these volunteers fundraised over $45,000 towards the cost of this truck. Mr. Speaker, that amounts to a lot of cold plates, Mooks burgers, ticket sales, and other various collections. I would like to extend thanks to these volunteers for their hard work and commitment to their town and surrounding these areas. I wish them well, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. The Honorable the Member for Conception Bay East, Bell Island. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I stand today to acknowledge two amazing women from my district. I speak of Ms. Kerry Churchill and Ms. Dana Metcalf, who are the architects behind such endeavors like Wink, Women Into Networking Kindness, and the Breastless and Beautiful Calendar Project. Wink is an organization that supports and motivates our community through active participation by volunteerism, fundraising, and acts of kindness for persons in need. The Breathless and Beautiful Project not only raises money for the Dr. H. Bliss Murphy Cancer Center Patient and Family Support Fund, but serves as a beacon of inspiration for the individuals and their families who are battling breast cancer. Mr. Speaker, each month's photo is very articulately and creatively taken and tells the amazing story of the physical, mental, and emotional obstacles they have overcome. To date, the project has raised over $100,000 for support to breast cancer patients. Mr. Speaker, another project that was driven by these women was the Chain of Bras project that saw a chain of bras stretch two kilometers along Signal Hill to raise awareness and money for support of breast cancer patients. Mr. Speaker, these are only a few of the things these women have done to support our residents. I ask all members to join me in congratulating and thanking Kerry and Dana for their leadership and courage. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. The Honourable Member for the District of Harbour, Maine. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am pleased to stand and recognize one of the largest communities in my district of Harbour, Maine, the town of Holyrood, which was incorporated in 1969 and this year celebrates its 50th year anniversary and come home year. Much of the month of July has been dedicated to the recognition of the incorporation of this historic town. Numerous events for young and old alike are being held. Holyrood is a town that continues to grow rapidly and boasts both its historical past and its growth as it attracts many newcomers. With its vibrant municipal council, Holyrood continues to expand and offers many opportunities to its residents. For example, Holyrood has continuously found a way to evolve from a proud history to building an ocean innovation ecosystem, creating a sustainable and progressive future. I would ask all honorable members to join with me in the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the incorporation of the town of Holyrood and Come Home Year 2019. Holyrood is a true example of a place that demonstrates continuous growth and vitality and exemplifies what it means to be a town of distinction in our great province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 
Now, the Honourable the Member for St. John's East, Kitty Vitty. Mr. Speaker, I am delighted to recognize Mr. Rod Dion, a World War II Navy veteran and outstanding community volunteer. One of the surviving veterans dispatched to the beaches of Normandy on D-Day, Mr. Dion recently traveled to France for the 75th anniversary of this event, one of 45 people who took part in the special commemoration ceremony with the veteran of <coughs> Veterans Affairs Canada. Born in Nova Scotia in 1921, Mr. Dion worked as a hull technician or shipwright before enlisting in the Navy. During D-Day, Dion was aboard the HMCS Ottawa. Mr. Dion is also a celebrated artist and was honored with a Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal in 2012 for a wood carving he did of Queen Elizabeth in 1953 for her, her coronation. A dedicated volunteer with the Royal Canadian Legion, many people recognize Mr. Dion from selling poppies every year. He has spent a half a century working on the annual poppy campaign. Mr. Dion proudly states he served so we could be here today. We are humbled by your actions. Yeah.